My name is Andy Windsor and I farm near Grantville, Kansas. Uh, we grow corn and soybeans and some wheat. In 2016, Windsor Farms was awarded the Conservation Legacy Award by the American Soybean Association. We're kind of some of the first early adopters of some of the technologies. We started grid sampling 20 years ago and when it was in its infancy. And my grandpa and, and dad started using terraces and contour farming back you know, in the 40s. And so th they've really lay laid the groundwork with the newer technologies we're having, such as cover crops and, and the drip tape irrigation and so forth. So Andy had purchased a new piece of property and was interested in adding irrigation to it and he was looking for something that would fit, something that was odd shaped. He wanted to be efficient with his water that he had. He had a limited amount of water. At the same time, also boosting yields in a very impactful way. We put our first drip field in, which is this one, and we did another field uh, this past spring. And so far, it's just been a good experience. We're seeing a lot of demand and a lot of questions in areas that typically are not irrigated areas. And what they're asking for is how can I deliver my nutrients more efficiently, more effectively, and with maybe less fertilizer. Typical corn practices is we throw all the nutrients out at one time and we hope they're there when the plant needs it. Being able to fertigate through the drip irrigation in small incremental amounts leads to higher yields because the plant is never starved or deprived of nutrients that it needs. We're able to spoon feed those nutrients right when the plants are need them or right before and that leads to, to healthier plants that leads to, to a higher yield. When they want that level of management and they want that ability to to raise the bar on their farm, drip irrigation is a great solution. So we're not applying it in areas in the soil that there isn't roots so it doesn't get flushed out of the root zone deeper in the soil or flushed into the rivers or streams and, and create other issues. It's important that we, we leave our land and our resources in good shape for the future and, and for the generations coming. With the drip irrigation we've got really high efficiency of, of fertilizer uptake that way. We'll increase yield with that knowledge. Once you look at all the benefits of it, kind of a, a no-brainer.